Aries, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be your general reading for February 4th through the, no, 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 February the 8th through the 15th. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below, Aries. Um, three people right here in this second row, so we'll figure out what's going on. Four, got four people out here, maybe five. This could be you, and so could that Queen of Wands. Um, any of these can be your energy. Court cards, they typically represent people. However, it could just be an energy that you are in. We will figure it out, okay? Um, but I still see some messages coming in, all right? Maybe from a fellow fire sign or a water sign here, um, but I do see you receiving a, a message, okay? Got the Page of Wands as your overall energy here. So, uh, Chariot as your first card out. Cancerian energy. What's going on with this? I feel like you're receiving an answer here. Like there's there's an obstacle for sure that you're facing, and I, I feel like you're receiving answers on how to power through that, like what to go, like some, where to go. Like somebody is giving you direction. Okay, I feel like they're telling you where to go in order to get help here with some kind of issue. Could be a mother or just a uh, feminine energy. It could be a woman. Um, we got Taurus and Libra there. But yeah, there's, uh, there could be something here that you're trying to grow or get off the ground or just keep it where it is. Some of you, it's like you're just trying to maintain it. And uh, that that could be the, the goal here. But you're struggling with that, with trying to maintain something. It could have something to do with a vehicle, okay? Um, some of you, there could be some news coming in about a pregnancy. Like you're, you're waiting on some kind of news here, basically. And I see you uh, receiving that. You're waiting on answers. You have the Seven of Wands passing a test, okay? What's going on with the Seven of Wands here? There's a message that I feel you almost like resist at first, okay? The high priestess, yeah, it just doesn't seem like it's true. Knight of Swords in reverse, you don't feel like it's true. Um, Gemini energy, Pisces energy, what's going on with this? Four of Swords, Temperance. Yeah, it's just like, I almost feel like somebody has had a change of heart here. I feel that in the past, whatever's being said to you is was would not have been true but today I think it is you know whatever day this is right here I think that it is true I think that somebody has had a change of heart they've had a lot of time to reflect on something I also feel like they went through a really tough change in their own life this could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces but yeah um, they, they've done a lot of growing and healing and they're trying to heal something with you but I feel like you do resist this message and that's totally your choice um, you do have the five of Pentacles here Mercury and Taurus But yeah, I do feel like overall, even if you don't want to restart with that person, and they may not want to restart with you, they may just want to, um, you know, mend things here. I, I do feel as if this is going to clear everything up for you. Third eye is lit up here in this temperance card, so I definitely feel like it's going to um, bring about some understanding for you for sure. Five of Pentacles. Hair font reversed on the death card. I also feel like you're going through a really big change here at this time. It doesn't really feel like you're lacking financially. It just feels like you could be, um, you know, feeling outside of yourself, you know, trying to feel things out, figure out where you stand in the situation, maybe with a Taurus or a Scorpio, but um, just overall trying to figure out where you stand, maybe even what you believe. Um, you're not sure what the truth is. And, you know, the Five of Pentacles, I feel like you are just feeling very outside of yourself, but you don't know where you're going with the hair font in reverse. But the death card, you know you're changing. You know you can't stay here. It's that kind of energy. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. What's going on with the King of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're yearning for something more stable here. If you have been in that energy for a while, this could be the week where it's stabilized, um, where you start to feel normal again. You're not going to feel how you used to feel. It's not ever going to be the same, but I think that uh, you start to feel stable again. You know, That's the kind of energy that I feel here, Aries. Um, you could be receiving a message about work or money. Five of Pentacles here with the hair font in reverse. You could have been out of job. Maybe there was a job loss here, uh, but I do see you getting some... Um, some news about that. I feel like you're getting a message about this here um, that's going to bring in stability. You have the Page of Cups right here. Who's this Page of Cups? Is this a water sign here or just somebody who's in water energy? The Sun card, maybe Leo. I feel like you're going to get um, a message from maybe a water sign here that's uh, going to make you really happy. I feel like this is a new person, okay? I feel like it's a new person. They're very playful, fun. They bring a really new energy into your life, uh, so I like that, okay? Got the King of Swords here. Aquarian energy. Who's this? 
Now, like I said, this Queen of Wands could very well be you, Aries. Who's the King of Swords? Four of Cups, somebody who's not satisfied. Aries, I feel like you're dealing with a really, like, verbally harsh individual here. They are just very miserable. You know, it's the energy of misery loves company. Like, I feel like, I don't really want to say they're lashing out at you. They are. You know, that's not their intentions. They're just, I'm blunt. You know, it's one of those people. I just, I'm blunt. I just tell it like it is. One of those, right? Ace of Wands. I think you're just trying to have a new beginning. You're trying to find your way. And there's somebody here who, the Hermit in reverse, like, they've never done that. You know, they've never had any kind of reflection or... They've never chosen to look at themselves, you know? So, yeah, I feel like they are in a space where um, it just makes them extremely uncomfortable to see somebody else doing that. So, yeah, they're going to criticize. Um, I, there's Aquarius energy here. I also, uh, we also have Virgo. And uh, could be Gemini, too. Could be a Gemini as well. You got the Eight of Wands here. What's going on with the Eight of Wands for Aries here? Nine of Pentacles moving fast towards stability, you guys, especially for those of you who have been, um, you know, kind of struggling. I feel like you are uh, changing routine as well. You know, I think there's something about your routine changing, your patterns, um, your behaviors, your beliefs. Like I said, your belief systems, I think there's something going on with that. They're being shaken up by uh, maybe a loss, okay? Maybe a loss or... Um, or possibly by that person trying to clear things up with you. Like, whatever you believed to be true before, I feel like you really clung to that. And now it's uh, changing, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles is also financial stability, independence. Um, we got Venus and Virgo here. I feel like you could have some news coming in about something, uh, like something flashy, you know? I, I don't know what that would be. Like, I, I don't know, chariot here. It could be a car. Could be uh yeah, it's something where, you're, like, you're, you're changing something about yourself that you feel has kept you stuck, okay? So, yeah, I think on one hand, it's belief systems, it's your values, uh, you know, your routine is changing, you could have been stuck in, you know, the same process, I don't know, you could have been uh, just feeling like you're living the same day over and over again. So, I think you're trying to change that for a lot of you. you got two eights here, infinity, right? I feel like you have just felt like something is just replay, 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 and you're like, oh, God, get me out of it, you know? That's the energy that I feel you in, but also... Uh, for some of you, I feel like there's something physical that you are trying to change that you don't like about yourself. This could definitely be like you getting into a diet, um, you know, exercise, changing your sleep routine, your sleep patterns. Um, yeah, it's, it could be something like that. Um, that's what I'm feeling there. You got the Ten of Wands. Um, some of you could have Saturn and Sagittarius. What's going on with this Ten of Wands? The Five of Cups. What is going on here? What is this? Yeah, and see, Ten of Wands is like you're carrying a burden, you're carrying a weight. So, yeah, this could definitely be something, Five of Cups, that you're trying to lose. This can be a card of loss. Like, you could definitely be uh, trying to lose weight here. What's going on with this? Five of Swords. Getting getting in your head about something here. What is going on with this? Or this is somebody you're connecting with, yep, or about a connection. It could be about a connection. It could be about this new person here. It's like, which, which path do I choose? What else is going on with this? King of Swords, this person's getting in your head. You guys, it's going to be a week where you are going to want to shut other people out when it comes to your choices and your emotions. Pay attention to what you're feeling, not what everybody else is feeling, okay? It's like, well, this person said this, so maybe I should be more open to that. I feel like you're working on being more open, but don't go too far into that where you have such a weak spirit that you can be shaken by any new opinion or, you know, thought that somebody else has. So just be mindful of that, you know? You want to be open-minded, but you don't want to be, um, you know, somebody who can't stand firm in any position, right? You have the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Because sometimes, like, you might be right, you know? You might be right in that, uh, whatever it is that you're believing or feeling or, uh, you know, whatever. And then you have these energies come in and they, they shift you and in the wrong direction. So, yeah, just be careful with that. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, I definitely feel like there is a turning point here with when, when it comes to what you desire, Aries. King of Cups. Like, there's a new kind of energy you desire. Maybe you really like the... Like, for example, if this is love, you do have the lovers here, um, and you have the, the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Like, you you like this specific type of person here, Seven of Swords, you know? I'm not saying that you liked to be cheated, but you liked a person that maybe you could tweak or change. Like, it, it gave you some kind of, um, you know, it validated you in some way. If you could tweak or change a person that uh, was running from you, get them to stop, you know, or get them to even turn around and chase. That's a win-win is how you could have been feeling in the past. Now you're like, you know what? I want somebody who's more serious. I want somebody who is 
emotionally stable, but first I have to get there myself. And I think that's another reason for some of you that your belief systems are changing. You're like, I, I need to be who, who I want to have in my life, you know? I need to be who I'm asking the universe for. I can't just ask for something that I'm not willing to give. Somebody could have Jupiter and Pisces here, Ten of Swords, because you're seeing how this keeps ending. Like you're, it's it's the same thing playing out over and over again with different uh, connections, Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, you're wanting something more serious, more valuable for sure, and you're going to uh, have that. Okay, you got the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe not this week, but I do think that there is a new person coming in. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I do hope that it was helpful, and I hope you'll watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.